A North Kansas City mom is enraged tonight after she says her blind son's cane was taken away from him at school by a bus driver. The little boy goes to Grace Moore Elementary. Rachel Nafsinger says staff took away her son's cane as punishment for bad behavior on the school bus, then gave him a pool noodle to use to get around. Fox 4's Molly Balkenbush went to the school looking for answers. The school would not go on camera with Fox 4 today, but said they did take away the 8-year-old blind boy's cane. That cane is school property. They tell us it was to keep him from hurting himself or others on the school bus. His family say it was a way to humiliate him for acting up. Tonight, the little boy is stuck using a pool noodle to find his way around. Dakota Nafsinger is just like any other eight-year-old little boy in many ways. He loves singing, fishing, and swimming. But being blind means even the fun things take extra work. It's a lot harder with this. That's why Dakota depends on a cane to get around, and he says this noodle isn't doing much good. Why would you do that? Why, why would you take the one thing that he's supposed to use all the time, and that's his eyes? A spokeswoman with the North Kansas City School District said Dakota was acting up on the bus Monday and hit somebody with his cane. She says the bus driver or the bus aide took the cane away. We asked school officials why a pool noodle was handed over. Spokeswoman Michelle Kronk told Fox 4 the boy fidgets and needed something to hold. They said they were going to give me this for the next two weeks. Dakota's mom, Rachel Nafsinger, says her son did get a write-up Monday for misbehaving on the bus, but she doesn't understand why the punishment was taking away the thing he needs the most. He's gone through so much in his life already. Eight years. Eight years. And I just don't like someone else putting my son in that position. Dakota's dad says his son simply lifts his cane up sometimes, and the bus driver thought he was using it violently. All around, he's a good little guy, and he shouldn't be treated the way he's being treated. Dakota headed out with his family Tuesday night to his sister's concert with nothing but a pool noodle to guide him around. Can't feel things. And if I don't stand up for him, who's going to? The cane is property of the school district, but it was given to Dakota to use. The district spokeswoman says he did not have one when the school year started. Molly Balkenbush, Fox 4 News, working for you.